I got ripped off a couple weeks ago. I spent $100 on a boxing match. <laughs> <clears throat> that sucked, didn't it? Jesus Christ, that's terrible. After that fight was over, uh, Floyd Mayweather said that he is better than Muhammad Ali. And I thought, I don't know if that's true, but I do hope you get Parkinson's. <laughs> hey, thank you guys so much. <laughs> Muhammad Ali, the <coughs> champ. He's the Muhammad you can draw. <laughs> Go ahead and draw a picture of Muhammad Ali. He doesn't care. There's literally very little he can do about it, frankly. <laughs> And uh, I'll be honest with you, you don't even have to be that good of an artist. There's a lot of movement, is what I'm saying. <laughs> I can't believe the whole drawing the Prophet Muhammad thing. What, is, what the fuck? Why are we allowing that to be a thing? Why don't we say, uh, no, fuck you. You can't have that rule. We can draw whoever the fuck we want to draw. You can't kill people because there's a picture. Why are we not doing that? Fuck. Here's the first thing we gotta do. We have to stop calling him the Prophet Muhammad. He wasn't a prophet because there's no such thing. You guys know about science, right? You can't predict the future. He wasn't a prophet. Prophecy is like astrology or palm reading. It's a con. It's a trick. And if you believe in it, you're a chump. <laughs> or a dupe. That's all Muhammad was. He was basically the Long Island medium of his day. Yeah. He was Teresa Caputo in a tunic. Stop calling him the prophet. You're giving him an air of credibility he doesn't deserve. It's like a title, like doctor or major. Unearned. And when you, then you start calling him the prophet, then people start to believe that shit. And then it gets weird. It's like if that goth friend of yours suddenly started referring to himself as the vampire Kevin. No oh, way, dude, you're not a vampire. You work at Verizon. <laughs> Day shift. Don't call yourself that. And I think one of the problems with getting pissed if you're a Muslim and getting pissed about having someone draw a picture of Muhammad is the very simple fact that we don't know what Muhammad looked like. I don't know if you guys know this, but there was no Instagram in the seventh century. There are no pictures of Muhammad. We don't know what the fuck he looked like. How can you be mad if I draw his picture if you don't know what he looked like? How do you know when you're mad? Can't we just go, oh, that's not really him. It's another guy that's down the street from him. His cousin. Go away. So fucked. You draw this picture, it is death. What? That seems like an overreaction. And then they're so adamant about the picture drawing thing, they'll kill you for that. It's it's odd to me that that's really where they ended it. You know what I mean? Like they're super fucking sensitive about a picture. But they don't really give a fuck about any of the arguments. There's a lot of other ways you can offend the Prophet Muhammad, right? Do not draw Muhammad's picture or it is death. Okay, okay, goddamn, relax. We won't draw that little cunt's picture. Don't worry about it. We won't draw that rapist, pedophile, lying con man's picture ever. You're right. When you're right, you're right. Mm. 
good quiet crowd, good quiet. <laughs> I'm dropping a lot of information on you right now. Jeez, Brett, this is pretty heavy shit. I'm laughing on the inside. I'm trying to figure out what the fuck you're talking about. I don't know what you're talking about. 